Hey, what does it take to cook and stack your burger like a pro? Here to show us how to make the perfect gourmet burger is chef and owner of Bernie's Burger Bus, Justin Turner. Okay, first of all, Justin, I got to ask you about mm -hmm. this Texas horseshoe burger. So, um, it, originally it's an Illinois thing, but I wanted to do, uh, turn it very Texas. So we, we do it bigger and better here in Texas. Way bigger and better in Texas. So we're, we're doing uh, some smoked brisket and we're making a green chili queso. Traditionally it's the neon orange uh, yellow cheese and we don't want to do that here. We're going to make something easy from scratch. Um, you can do it at home and we're going to build this beautiful burger. And it's one of the things on your field trip menu. Yeah, so uh, something that changes often but we're going to have it here for the rodeo. Uh, so I want people to come try my version of a great Illinois burger. And if you haven't been to Bernie's Burger Bus, there are two locations. There's one in Katy, one in Bel Air and there's mm -hmm. soon to be a third one over in the Heights sometime this spring. Yeah, hopefully by the end of April uh, of we're at 22nd and Yale. It's going to be a, a bigger store. We're putting the original bus in there. So the bus that started this off seven years ago is going to actually have its final resting place in the Heights. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right, Justin, we got to go to work. You know, yes. uh, you may have seen him, by the way, on Chopped. He did win. That's kind yes, of a cool thing. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was awesome. It was such a good experience. And actually, a couple other Houston chefs won too. And uh, it's great to bring that for Houston. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to build this quick cheese sauce. Butter and flour, equal parts. Okay. We just dump it in. And making the cheese sauce it kind of counts as a condiment. You guys are known for making all of your condiments. Everything from scratch. And, and we don't like to do it uh, unless it, it, you know, coming from our kitchen. So very important. Butter and flour, make a roux. Okay. Oops, sorry. Ooh, no we're going to add some milk. Okay. So we're kind of your basic sauce. Basic bechamel is what they call this. Flour, butter, roux, uh, and milk. We'll bring this up to a boil. Okay. Once this comes up to a boil, we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper, uh, the white cheddar lots cheese, of cheese. Lots of cheese. Lots of cheese. We'll add all the cheese. And do you like it spicy? Just a little bit. Let's okay. give it a little kick. Okay. So Don't knock me out. We'll, we'll, we'll do just a hair, okay? Okay. And, and what is that is, you're adding? This is a, a homemade salsa verde. You could use a store-bought one, but for us, it's tomatillas, garlic, onions, uh, jalapenos, and serranos. And we just roast them oh, all together. heavenly. All right. So here, it, you let this cook for about 10 minutes. We're going to finish it with some uh, green, green onions. onions. Yep. Uh, just for a little freshness. See, this is fairly quick. You actually could really do this at home. That, Absolutely. That's, that's and, and really easy. what we're doing is preparing ourselves to sear this burger. So we're getting our pan hot. Okay. This is my grandmother's cast iron skillet. Oh, really? Yep. Um, this is super important. If you're going to cook a burger at home, open your windows, turn off the smoke alarms, and, and actually sear this. In other words, there's yeah. going to be some smoke there's on gonna the There's going to be some smoke. Stove. I'm going to okay. do some salt and pepper. Um, meat is very important. So we do a combination of brisket and chuck, 50-50. Um, and that allows us to get the right fat content um, as well as the right have flavor. you a good burger. you got to have some fat in there. Yeah. So uh, we season one side already. We're going to season the other side with salt and pepper. And we don't want to move it. You hear that beautiful sound? It's yeah. searing over here. Um, you know, this is super important. These steps, um, the meat, searing it properly, this, this is what makes it great. So I've noticed that you're about a half inch thick burger there. Yeah, we do about six ounces. Okay. So for how long do you let it sear on both sides? Uh, if your pan is hot like this, I'm guessing about two minutes, per three side. minutes per side uh, for medium. I like our burgers cooked medium, especially we just ground this this morning. Well, because um, if you're using really good meat, you're okay to go on the medium. Absolutely. And, you know, I, I say go to your butcher, ask him, say, hey, I want you to grind me two pounds of chuck and two pounds of brisket. They'll grind it for you. You can call ahead. I know I've done it in the past. That's how I, before I started the food truck, that's kind of how I did some recipe testing. I'd yeah. go to the local supermarket and be like, hey, will you grind me this? Um, and I found this was the best for a burger. It actually works great for meatloaf. Um, it's a good fat So don't content. be afraid to ask your but butcher no. to mix exactly what you want. And then you know it's fresh. I have no idea how long the um, um, burger has been, the ground beef has been sitting in the pre-done packages. You know what I'm saying? That it's Gosh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Okay, so we got to slide on over and let's start stacking up. Let's start stacking this. So pretend, you know, sake of TV, yeah. pretend that this was fully cooked. Yeah, so uh, what we do is we finish it with some nice smoked brisket, okay? Some homemade barbecue sauce, which is a, a Memphis-style barbecue sauce, so it's got a little molasses. Yeah, you got the molasses going there. And then we're going to build uh, with some pepper jack cheese. Okay. So for a horseshoe, it's an open face burger, fork and knife. So we've got about 15 seconds. So 15 you know, just seconds. like on chop. Come on, let's go, let's go. Bacon, <laughs> tomatoes, the burger. 
We're going to finish it with uh, some cheese sauce. That lots cheese sauce we mean. Double dose of cheese. Oh, oh and right. the grand finale. You got to do French fries on a horseshoe. This is what makes it a horseshoe. <gasps> so some of our hand cut fries. Oh, Justin, thank you so much for My coming pleasure. in. Now, for more information on how you can sink your teeth into one of these burgers, you can visit Bernie's Burger Bus.com.